guys welcome back to Genshi Plans. Today is a flip through video, everybody's favorite. I appreciate that this is simple to do because I have not been feeling motivated to work on channel stuff this week. More of that as we go. Um, I'm in my Filofax Pocket Malden in the color ochre. And I'm not going to bother showing you my pockets this time. It's all been pretty much the same. These tabs are from Marlene's Plan to Create, but her Etsy shop doesn't... Last time I checked wasn't available. You can check it. It's two with the number two. Um, but I do really like them. The sticker is from um, Pink... Artist Monica on Instagram. Penguin and Peep is the name of these characters. Anyway, I kept it very simple. Um, if you watched my July plan with me, you'll see I was really just more focused on function over form. Um... But the problem with that is that I'm not really drawn to turn to this page that often. Maybe it's because it's kind of sparse and so I don't need to, so I don't know. But I'm entering a little bit of like a planner funk. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to just sort of accommodate myself to whatever I need. But this is, yeah, my context list. This is my list of household projects that I'm sort of working on as I'm nesting, um, things that I want to do and I'm trying to do like one project per week and the project for the last couple weeks has been newborn wardrobe but I haven't gotten those out of the garage yet because I can't reach them I can't carry them my husband hasn't gotten around to it yet so that's what's going on I've been doing other things instead and actually this week I've been doing the thing that I felt motivated to do which is work on the garden um I have been feeling really discouraged by the garden lately to the point where it was getting ugly and I didn't want to look at it. The tomato plants were falling over and I finally felt motivated to find some solutions, to do some planning, to get excited for the fall. Um, and I just today finished like tidying it up. I trimmed a bunch of dead stuff off. I pruned the tomato plant down to a manageable um, size and everything I think is going to be pretty good. I, I solved my blossom end rot problem. So things are getting better. <laughs> Um, this is my bra tracker. I like forget to check it for days at a time and then it's mostly accurate. I really need to catch up on my one line a day journal. I moved it to my dresser or my nightstand thinking that that would help remind me to do it and it has not because I'm like, oh, I don't have my pen on me. It's too late. I'm going to bed. This is a someday maybe list. This waiting on thing for a while I was putting some of my things I needed to talk to my husband about, but that has overflowed onto its own page. Um, and so I have some things here that we need to discuss just so I don't forget. This next section is weeklies and dailies. So this is this month's little uh, happy sticker. I use my HP Sprocket to print out these photos and they make me very happy. Love those two little munchkins. Let's see. I've been using the week on a fold out. Ugh, I'm trying to do this one handed for some reason. From my summer touch. Um, and this one like inspires me to decorate just a little bit. And so you've got here stickers from Twin 16, uh, Sweet Tea Sticker Co, Planner Kate. Yes. Um, and then these dailies are the half dated dailies from my summer touch, brand new. Um, I was using these for the week when my husband was in isolation and they worked for me, but I kind of was not using them. I think exactly as designed. I used them a lot of like rapid logging stuff. Um, but I just needed to get through that week, <laughs> honestly. And I'm glad that they helped me do that. And the focus on the hourly really did help over the focus on like a to-do list because to-do lists were not getting to done because that was not the kind of week it was. It was a what time is Daniel Tiger on kind of a week. Um, this is the week after that. These are, uh, let's see, more Planner Kate's. This, uh, these two, these three are with Plan with Anna from Plan with Anna on Etsy. Um, yeah, the, the rest I think are planner kate except for this one which is a happy planner sticker oh and this is twin 16 um and this is an undated daily also fairly new from uh, my summer touch so this one has i'll show you a blank one here um this one has this like hour tracker thing which is cool um i think i like that especially on weird days for me like uh let's see where was the weird day 
This was a weird day. I had a dentist appointment mid-morning, so I was working weird hours. Um, I think same thing here. Oh yeah, I just put the times that I would be like driving and doing things. Um, so it's helping me visualize my day a little bit, and then you can put like timed things here, and then other tasks here. The top three is always a useful little feature. But I also like that, you know, you don't have to letter out your month or whatever. You just sort of highlight or circle the month and the day of the week, and then you just write the date. So you're not wasting pages if you're not using them, as in this week. So this is the current week. I set it up. I love the way it looked. I posted this on Instagram on Tuesday, I think. And I had barely touched it since then. And I've just sort of been focusing on the one thing that I feel motivated to do, which is to go out in the garden. Um, and so I haven't really been on top of my, my content creation stuff or my, uh, just general tasks and to do's. And I actually, I made a daily for Monday. I never put the date on it and I haven't made dailies since then. Um, I'm filming this on Wednesday, yesterday, <laughs> finally, because I need to get this video out. Um, and so I'm hoping that now that the garden stuff is all done to my satisfaction that I will um, feel like it's time to move on to something else. But I'm just kind of going where my whims take me. I feel like this is what nesting is. It's like if my my body is telling me, go outside and prune your tomato plant, I'm just going to do that. You know, do the thing that I have the motivation for. Yesterday, or last week, I thought I had motivation to tidy the cabinets in the kitchen and not yet. Maybe next week. Who knows? <laughs> One thing I definitely need to do is pack my hospital bag. Uh, next section here is general like uh, reference stuff. I need to return a bunch of these books to the library. They're sitting on a table by our door and I keep forgetting to bring them with me when I go in the car. Uh, this is my to watch list. This is the other half of that of the stuff I want to watch with my husband gift ideas, my own personal wish list. And then this section is my brain dump. Um, this is like a brand new brain dump page or inbox, I guess, because this one is full, but it still has stuff I want, don't want to throw away yet. So I'm not going to show you that one because I don't have to. Um, these are the projects I'm currently working on and other things that I kind of don't want to forget that could be worked on. It's not going to happen. Um, this is the, pro the pattern for the baby blanket I'm knitting. And this is the row counter, which I haven't updated in a few rows. The, then these three top tabs are for three projects. So the first project right now is baby shopping. And I'm hoping this will sort of motivate me if I put a couple of things on here that I'd like to try to find a good deal for, list price and then the paid price. So these are like some big items. We got the stroller. I mentioned that in my last bump day video. We got a good deal on it, as you can see. And so I just kind of want to get a couple of the big things out of the way. Um, shopping is fun. You know, these are some sort of notes and plans for maternity leave. This is the nursery layout when we add the toddler bed. This next section is the gardening. So this is the section of my planner I've actually been in. Uh, this last week, I, I was using the friction erasable pen to mark where the crops are. And so I erased a couple things that like died. Um, or that I planted more of or moved. Um, so yeah, I, I planted some more pickled plants. We'll see if they have time to mature, but I feel like I wasn't getting enough at a time. And so instead I was like putting off harvesting them and I, that didn't help. So I'm hoping having more plants would be a good thing. I caged my tomatoes. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Finally got the tomatoes up in a cage that supports it. I hope well enough for the rest of the season. These are just some notes on some other things that I'd like to grow as the weather gets cooler. Um, we want to try Brussels sprouts. I know we're not the perfect climate for it. It's too hot here, but... And then this is my general garden to-do list. Things that, as I think of them, I add them to this list. So if I want to go work in the garden, this is where I look. Um, and so I've done, like, all of them. There's only one thing left um, to go in, out and, like, hand pollinate some of the corn that has been growing in the last week or two. Finally, it's starting to develop ears. I felt like it would never happen. <laughs> this third project is my pregnancy. So we are currently on week 31 uh, here in July. Crazy. This is a sort of symptom tracker. So just 
fun symptoms. When I think to write them down, I do. Just for reference, I don't know. This is a list of all of my appointments, which obviously I'm not going to show you. Um, this is, I replaced the questions list because I filled it up. So this is a new one, which barely has anything on it. So I feel like I can show it to you. These are the questions I have for my doctor. They're all procedural and they're all scary. This is where I'm tracking my weight and blood pressure every week. So I can keep track of that for the doctor since we're not going to as many in-person appointments. Um, and then this guy is my sort of New Year's resolution tracker where I was trying to set a sort of health-related goal every month for the year. I got through the beginning of June and then gave up on tracking and never set it up for July. So I think I'm just taking at least a month off of that. I feel like now is not the time for me to be trying to um, say no to my pregnancy cravings. So I'm just not really eating healthy. I'm going to try to keep exercising as much as possible, but I don't want to feel guilty if I can't. So I'm taking a little bit of a break from that. This next section is uh, content creation stuff. So this is a My Summer Touch year on several pages. Um, so there's like a line for every day of the year. And so I can highlight it in the color coded um, highlighter of my choice and uh, put like the actual the title of the video that's going out that day or whatever. And then a check when it's done. Um, and that is all I am prepared to show you from this section for this video. Mostly I keep it kind of private until it comes out. Then we've got our future log. I don't think anything's changed since last time. Uh, birthdays and anniversaries, reoccurring tasks, great insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And that's it. Then the last section is just blank paper. So let's see, currently I have one, two, three, four sheets of grid paper. One, two, three undated dailies from My Summer Touch, one uh, undated daily from Peanuts Planner Co., and a cleaning checklist from Peanuts Planner Co. that I have printed out and never used, but it's in here in case I ever want to, because that is what we aspire to be. Thank you for joining us for this uh, flip through video. I hope you found it interesting, and um, I hope that it went out in time, because I've just been doing the things that I feel like I want to do because at least if I have motivation, it gets done. So if that's where you are too, a solidarity, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.